your boat, B. Why don't you sit with me? What's up? Yeah. You sit down. Hey, what's up? Just wanted to do a three to four month update on owning a greater Swiss mountain dog and with Mila. So things have been hectic. If no one has ever owned a puppy, I'm assuming it's like having kids. It's, I don't have kids yet, but from growing up with siblings and having younger sisters, me and my sisters have a 10 year gap. It was like raising them. It, you always have to be with them 24 seven to make sure she's not getting into things and stuff. But let's just do like the big highlights. So Mila is about 40 pounds now. She's four months old uh, a couple days ago, July 3rd. It's her four month mark. She's 40 pounds. She's been gaining about 10 pounds each month. Um, she's gone a lot longer. She's about mm, four and a half feet long from, uh, I guess, from toe to toe when she's sprawled out on the ground. And uh, there'll be some pictures uh, to kind of show that. But other than that, she's been a really good puppy. Uh, still dealing with uh, mouthing, but her mouthing has gone down a lot as she started losing some teeth. And there'll probably be pictures I'll be posting about that, showing her. Her losing her teeth, um, her adult teeth are growing in. She gradu she quote unquote graduated from puppy training class, so she was able. She went through like a six week program and was being trained. And the the trainer had nothing but great things to say about her. She's very smart, very very intelligent, and also very stubborn. Her personality is starting to come out a little bit. And it's very fun to see her grow and kind of learn to see new things. Uh, so she's a little bit stubborn, uh, but she's very highly food motivated. So we've been feeding her a lot of treats. Well, not a lot of treats, but if you get treats, she'll do whatever we ask. Uh, she knows a couple commands. She knows stay, wait, place, um, come. And then whenever we do feed her, uh, we set her food down, uh, tell her to eyes, so tell her to look at us. Oh, she wants me to pet her, so. Uh, tell her to look at us, and then once we have eye contact, we tell her to come, and she goes ahead and grabs her food. But, and other than that, like she's been a great puppy, just a lot, just always having to monitor her. She's like a vacuum cleaner. She'll pick up anything and everything off the floor now, and she's starting to learn about uh, food falling, falling from the table, so she's aware of that. Um, I guess another big feat that we have with her is her socialization. Socialization has been kind of a challenge with us living out in the country. Uh, there's about a thousand people in our town, but she's been very good. Uh, she, uh, we've been going up north to Salt Lake City, because that's where we're, we're from, Utah. And so we go up to north, it's about a two and a half hour drive, so she's very good at riding in the car, which you'll see pictures about. Uh, we normally put her in a kennel, but she's outgrown her travel kennel, so we've trained her. Uh, to put her in specific spots in the car and she just hangs out there and doesn't cause us any trouble. She's just very relaxed and she knows not to move and she just mostly sleeps. So she's very good that way. Um, other types of socialization, she's been to a lot of family events. Uh, went up north to Salt Lake City for uh, 4th of July, which was yesterday. And she went to her first parade, which there were thousands and thousands of people. And she was a freaking rock star. She did so well. Um, a lot of amazing comments of like, oh, what kind of puppy is that? Or, oh my gosh, this little girl said, that is the most beautiful dog I have ever seen. And we think she's absolutely gorgeous and we love her. And a lot of other people loved her. Uh, and she did totally fine. She was there with fire trucks, uh, loud cars, horns, uh, just around thousands of people. And she was very good stayed right next to us, um, always looking to us for guidance, which was very good. And she just mostly laid there and just kind of slept it off because she, she didn't want anything to do with it. And so she was very calm and very relaxed. Towards the end though, uh, we were there for about an hour, an hour and a half. She can tell she started to get a little overwhelmed. So we ended up leaving a little bit early. And that's when she started becoming a little bit more reactive, like because it's a whole new thing, seeing all these people, uh, dogs and things like that, but other than that she did really good The only struggles I would say that we were having with her 
uh, besides her being a vacuum, is leash training. Because these dogs were bred to be draft uh, animals and they love to pull. So leash training has been a little bit harder for her, for us. And so we're just working on doing some loose lead training. We're, that's something we're going to probably end up doing for the rest of the summer. And just always practice that with her because I don't want her to be uh, 90 to 100 pounds when she's full grown and have someone watch her and have her just take off and run with her always pulling on it because they're bred to pull thousands of pounds and we don't want that. But other than that, she's been an amazing puppy. Uh, those are the big updates that we've had with her. I don't know if you can see her, but let me see if I can get her up here. She's very tired right now. Oh yes, hey puppy. Look at her, see? She's she's a very good puppy. We, oh yeah, she was getting a little dick in my ears. Um, we've lost a lot of clothes to her, sadly. Uh, we've lost jeans, shirts, because she just would jump up and bite us. And uh, we would correct her and stuff, but other than that, other than that, not too many troubles with her. She's just been an amazing puppy, and we love her to death. And, yeah, so stay tuned for another update uh, two to three months down the road. Thank you.